I'm originally from the Cleveland area and I quit school at 16 to get married and so I did not finish high school and was a stay-at-home mom for many, many years and when my youngest child went to high school, I decided to go back and get my GED. It's something I'd always wanted to do. I had promised my mom when I got married that I would do it. So I went back and did that. Had a job for, for about three years and did work with, actually I worked as a, as a teacher's aide in a literacy and GED program here in Athens County and really enjoyed that, really enjoyed the work, enjoyed working with the students, enjoyed helping people brush up on their skills for the GED and also worked a lot with literacy students and helped them work on their reading skills and really bring their levels up so they could, they could read and a lot of them wanted to do that in preparation for a job but some of them just wanted to do that to be able to read to their grandchildren. I've really enjoyed that experience and that aspect of it. And when I left that program, I decided to go to college. I'd always said I wanted to go, so I went to college. And then after I finished college, I decided to, I was looking for a job and didn't find anything immediately. So I decided to look for something in the volunteer aspect and came to Rural Action as a volunteer and then came on as an AmeriCorps VISTA volunteer and was in AmeriCorps VISTA for three years and then transitioned into a program coordinator from there and then transitioned into a staff position after that. And I feel like that going back and getting my GED was really the, the road that led to all of that. I don't think I would have pursued all those things if I hadn't gone back to get my GED. Even though I didn't finish high school, I consider myself to be reasonably well-read and, and those kind of things had reasonable skills, but going back and getting that GED just made me feel that much better about my skills. It made me think about doing something professionally, which I had not done up to that point, and really getting out and exploring the world a little more and really looking at my dream of going to college one day and really realizing that. And I must say that's one of the hardest things I've ever done because I was in my 40s when I did that and being out of school for so many years and then going back to the discipline of going back to school was a real challenge for me, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I remember thinking going back to school with 18, 19 year olds, I remember sitting thinking, I'm old enough to be their mother, and certainly was old enough to be their mother, and, but still enjoyed it. It was really, brought a lot to my life, a lot of excitement to my life, brought a lot of challenges to my life that I don't think I would have probably experienced if I hadn't done it. And then probably one of the happiest days of my life was graduating from college, walking across that stage, and. I think it really made my, my parents feel really happy too to see. I, I know my mom feared that I would never go back. She said, oh sure, you just say that now, but you'll never do it. And it was really important for her, for her children to be well educated. And so I, I really felt good about doing that. Really felt like I'd met one of the, the accomplishments and one of the goals of my life to do that. And then to take that education and go and then help others learn how to read and help others to go and get their GED was really fulfilling for me because I think I could speak to that for people who would get frustrated and say, I'm never going to be able to do this and this is too hard and it's been too many years since I've been in school and all those things. I could speak to all those things and I could say, I did it. I know that you can do it. I can't imagine what my life would have been like without go going back to school and doing those things. And I think it's just made me a better person. It's made me, I think, a, a richer person, um, not only in my professional life, but in my personal life as well. Um, I think it, I, I like to think that what I was a, an example for my children to go ahead and complete their education. And um, to other people, when I were, was working in the GED labs, um, saying, I did that. I know that you can do it too. I actually purchased a GED book, uh, a GED prep book, 
and spent a lot of time going through that and a lot of time studying that. And I also did attend some classes. Um, math was probably the most challenging subject for me. And so I did spend some time going to some classes and brushing up on some of those math skills. I was always pretty good at basic math, but some of the higher level things like algebra and geometry and things like that were, were things I definitely knew that I needed to, to do some work on because oftentimes we don't use those skills as much in the real world. So I did attend some classes and they were very helpful for me. And I think it really made it easier for me to go through and to get the scores that I was able to get. I didn't want, I'm a very driven person when it comes to certain things and I didn't want to just squeak by. I wanted to do a good job with it. So um, doing a lot of prep beforehand was important. They pretty much tailored to each student. Um, it was pretty much up to us what we felt like we wanted to concentrate on on the class as long as we did everything sometime we were there. Um, so, you know, if I went in today, I might choose to work on math today, and then some other day I might choose to work on science skills or reading skills or something. But they made sure that we covered everything. But it was pretty much up to us what we felt like we wanted to spend most of our time on. And in doing some entry-level testing, that showed up um, what we really needed to work most on. Just getting yourself into the, into the routine of making your mind think about those things again. Concentrating on, on that format that I hadn't done. Most of the reading I did before I went to get my GED was all pleasure reading. It wasn't technical reading or, or any of that kind of thing. So kind of training your mind again to think in those ways. I remember thinking about word problems, math word problems, and having to really concentrate on what's important in that word problem for me to know, kind of eliminate those things that I didn't need, those little added things that they put in those problems, and then to really concentrate what I needed to pull out of that problem to be able to answer it and answer it correctly.